Hi folks, welcome to today's coaching nugget. Today we're gonna take a closer look on long-term motivation. Being motivated in the long run is the key to reach ambitious goals, be it in ultra cycling and bikepacking, your career or personal development. On the next few slides, I show you my approach to stay motivated in the long run. Let's dive into it. At the heart of the whole topic is your intrinsic motivation. Only if you really know why you want to do something can you be motivated in the long run. It is important to spend some time to answer the question why you want to reach a certain goal. And all too often we simply chase new goals without really reflecting about them. Next, it really helps to translate your intrinsic motivation into a dream. A dream is something your mind can visualize. It gives your mind something to chase for. And thus, the dream really helps to boost long-term motivation. But a dream has a weak spot. You can never guarantee that you will be able to fulfill your dream. There's always external factors that can lead to a non-fulfillment of the dream. But is that a failure? No, that's part of the game. But as a consequence, dreams are not suited to measure success. Dreams simply visualize the core of your motivation. To measure success, you need specific goals. You need to define smart goals that make the fulfillment of your dream as probable as possible. And each single goal is 100% in your control. Let's make this clear by looking at my approach to the race around Germany, a 3300 km bikepacking race around Germany. First, what's my intrinsic motivation to ride thousands of kilometers? It's emotions. Normally, really strong emotions like fear, love, hate or grief are triggered by other people. But ultracycling has the power to induce all these feelings all by myself. A pretty fantastic feeling. Second, what was my dream? The big picture to hunt after. Originally, I wanted to go for a new fastest known time. This didn't work out, but anyway, it did not harm my motivation for future endeavors because I know why I ride ultras and I do not use my dream to measure success. Instead, I had defined specific goals along three categories, endurance, efficiency and strategy. These goals have been implemented in my training plan. Thus, I've made myself accountable for these goals. And after the race, these goals have been relevant to measure my success. With this three-step approach, it is not only easier to motivate yourself in the first place, it is also way easier to cope with fallbacks and keep motivated in the long run. Now, let's wrap this up. Have a clear understanding of why you want to do ultra endurance sports. Come up with a dream to motivate you on the long run. Don't mix up your dream and your goals. Dreams do not always come true, but you can derive goals that make it pretty probable that they will. Goals are for measuring success and progress, not dreams. So, do you use similar techniques to motivate you on the long run? Then leave me a comment. And if you like my content, I'd be very happy if you hit the follow button. Ciao and see you next time, Stefan.